All right, y'all, so look, man. First thing first, man, please make sure I watch this full video beginning to the end so you do not miss a single detail. Bro, we just got a whole bunch of new information on Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, bro. All right, if you wasn't in the live stream, bro, there's a lot of stuff that dropped on the game, bro. They update the little website and everything, bro. So we about to go ahead and check it out, bro. They uploaded some new screenshots, and we about to go ahead and break down some things. All right, so let's go ahead and go over the screenshots real quick, bro. So we got this crispy um, screenshot of Broly. I wasn't really, I didn't, I didn't find this picture of Broly in a trailer. So I think this is just a new screenshot, but I couldn't, I looked at the trailer i did not see this pose so i don't know what this is the so new screenshot of broly got this one of dispo right here um this one of hit so it's like they're doing that type so this is like they like they a character announcement thing like they be showing like the little name and stuff right there so you got one of hit bro you got one of birder and jace role play um you got what else we have the of kanasa i think that's how you say her name kanasa that was in the um v jump scan so that one's really not new we got this one of Kale. Kale strong, like pointing at you or whatever, bro. We got this one of Roshi. And we have this one of Nappa. This map looks so beautiful, bro. We got this one of Nappa, bro. Uh, we got this one of Topo. Uh, we got this one of um, Buff Trunks right here. This is a crispy screenshot right there. Um, and after that, you got this of the um, character selection screen. And I think that, yeah, and they go back to Broly. All right, so the update I'm not the update the um website it says the stage, um, the stage is set to um, my fault, bro. I'm just super excited, bro. Let's go ahead and get into it, bro. The stage is set to um, anticipate playable um, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero as new names is to his lineup of fighters in Dragon Ball Universe. You have encountered characters who um, seamless blend both speed and power, creating a form, I don't know how to say that word, fusion and strength and agility, bro. Um, however, among of them make um, their raw strength and rapid movement um, their defining trait. As you discover more Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, ask yourself, will you prefer raw overwhelming power or lightning fast agility? All right, if you go down, these are the characters. We already know this from the V-Jump scan. Super Trunks, Dispo, Kanasa, Master Roshi, Slash, Max Power. I don't know if that's two different Master Roshis or what, bro. I don't know if they just show Max Power. Um, Nappa, Birder, Topo, Jay, Super Saiyan, Kale, Berserk, Super Saiyan, Broly, Full Power, and Hit. All right. I don't know if the other Kale is going to be in the game, bro. We already know that the other Broly is in the game. So that he is different in the um, in the screenshot. You do got two Broly's right here. So I'm pretty sure Kale is going to have like her other form or whatever, bro. I'm pretty sure that's how they're going to move with that, bro. But yeah, bro. So this is everything they put on the website. In Dragon Ball, uh, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, you get to control these awesome characters in each and um, with their own powers and moves. Whether you like smashing enemies with brutal strength and zipping around battlefield like the Flash, there's someone here for you. All right, keep an eye out for more updates and character reveals for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. It's going to be an epic adventure, and we can't wait for you to discover discover more. All right, developed by Chong um, Chong Soft, PlayStation Five, or whatever. All right, so. The way they've been moving lately, bro, it looked like we might get a trailer every single month. I'm hoping that. I'm hoping that we get a trailer every single month. So far, we done got one each and every month, bro. We done got two new things this month. We got a gameplay trailer and we got the Power vs. Speed trailer. Now, for the gameplay trailer, man, I want to go ahead and go over this and go ahead and check it out some more and go into detail about this, bro. It just looks so fire. Like, me re-watching it, bro, I just want to go ahead and go over some stuff. That we just haven't seen like i mean that we've seen but like i just want to go ahead and point out some things bro it looks so beautiful bro oh my gosh now when i first saw now a lot of people when i first saw the movement it kind of caught me off guard i was like what is this but keep looking at it bro i'm liking that they trying something do and it looks like a fight in the anime like it looks like a mixer of tinkaichi and xenoverse a little bit i only reason i say xenoverse because how open the map is this map look huge it look like you can fly anywhere i don't feel like there's no barriers when you fight you know what i'm saying even though xenoverse they got barriers and walls and certain maps but the map is kind of open and big but i like how this I, I love how this play bro it looks beautiful in my opinion bro it looks just like i love that the hud the health bars is simple i like how big the characters are bro it, it just look it looks it looks beautiful in my opinion bro another thing is i want to go ahead and point out in the health bars bro. it looked like you can add more health bars so it looked like you start off with four and it look like you can um it look like you can like you know 
add more health bars. I don't know if that's a different game mode or hey, when you fight somebody. So it seems like you get four health bars. Um, I don't know if you get key when you're trying to hit somebody. Ah! So his key do go up when you hit somebody. Calm little combos. So you do got the counter thing. So when you do do this, bro, you do got the counter thing. So like when you do come out, my fault. When you do come out, meha, you can make it. You can make it stronger like the other games. Yeah, boost it. So you could boost it, bro. If you look right here, I don't know if you can show because of my camera. So when you do come out, meha and stuff, you could boost it, like in the other games. And the come out, meha did curve, bro. I don't know what this stuff is. This little three thing with the arrow. I don't know what this stuff is, bro. It looks like I don't know. That might is that something with the transformations? It might be. It might be guards or something like that. I don't know. And I love the clothes messing up. Okay, so he used all that. So all one galley gun took all his key, bro. One galley gun. I love the way they flying through buildings. You see how big this map looks, bro. So Vegeta went all the way. Goku going all the way. Ah. Oh, so that's his like that little sparking thing. Is it like Rage and Blast? In Rage and Blast 2, you know you get that little mode thing, but in that mode you couldn't use attack. So I, I don't think it's like that. Is this is this the high quality? Like God leave. So I don't know if you need five bars. So let's see after he goes Super Saiyan. I'm at Super Saiyan Blue. Do his bars go away? So yeah, it takes two bars. So he had five right here. Now it's three. So I think it takes two bars in order for you to transform. Now I don't know if this is Dragon Ball Super Goku and Dragon Ball Super Vegeta. Um, because I don't. I think only Super Virgin only have Super Saiyan Blue. And he don't go into Super Saiyan. You get what I'm saying, bro? So I'm guessing these fights are between Dragon Ball Super Goku and Dragon Ball Super Vegeta. Let's keep go ahead looking. Ah. Oh my. Yeah, he boosted. So this is just his regular attack, bro. Beautiful cutscene, bro. Beautiful. Quick, fast, and beautiful. It's not nothing that's too long. Something that we have to watch somebody beat me up. I love it. I love the jumping. I love this movement. The reflecting. He had that little aura that we thought that was Super Saiyan Blue. Wait, this thing went down real quick. Wait, when did it go down? It's one. When did it go down? Did it go away when he transformed? I don't know. I don't know what this little thing. Do anybody in the chat know what this is, bro? This little like three thing with the arrow going up. I don't know what that is, bro. Vegeta's at five bars. Gallic Gun took that off. Reflect. Super Saiyan Blue. How many of his bars gonna take? Most likely two. He was at five. Yeah, now he's at three. So it takes two bars. The dodging looks so fire, bruh. Ah. Okay, so he got like super armor. So some hits do have like super armor type hits, bro. Ah. So beautiful. Got the little dodging mechanic like the old one, fire, the vanishing. So yeah, boom. So when you do that, it goes purple. So when you go all the way up, it goes purple. So I'm guessing that's when you get your super attack, whatever. So you could burst. I mean, boost. The only thing about that, I said this in my chat, bro. That move looks super long. Like it looks like it takes a long time for that animation, bro. Like, it looked like it take a super long time for that animation to come through, bro. So, I don't know what that is, bro. It just looked like it just take a long time. I don't know if somebody can hit you out of that or how big the Kamehameha is. I don't know if it's a risk to do your super, super ultimate attack. So, I don't know. I don't know if they just did that for the trailer or what. But that did take a long time for it to do it, bro. Ah. And we all know this looks beautiful. Now, if you look right here, there's no swirling. There's no nothing like that. This They went back to the infinite world mechanic. In infinite world, bro, you know you had to tap the thing. So this is what that remind me of in Budokai 3, infinite world and stuff like that. Which I sucked at this. So I really don't want this for that. But I just got to learn to get better, bro. And that look like the, this look like the realm where Broly fought, Broly fought Gogeta. Beautiful pose. 
destroyed him. Then you get an out, y'all. Fast, quick, fast-paced game, bro. It's just beautiful, bro. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Now I want to go ahead and talk about this because these are some new things that they um introduced in the trailer. Um, they introduced short dash, revenge counter, super precision. I think I said that right. And vanishing assault. All right. So this is some like new stuff they added to the game, bro. Which I love anything with counters or whatever, bro. But yeah, bro. This just looks absolutely amazing, bro. I know a lot of people. I don't see a, a couple of comments talking about they don't like it or it looks weird to them or whatever, bro. I think it looks great, bro. Usually, you know, I'm a hater. Like I said, when I first saw it, it did look a little weird and wonky. I was like, what is this? But to keep looking at it, bro, it looked like something new, bro. Like, finally something we getting something new. It looked like they, like, really tried to make it a PS5 game. Like, really tried to do, like something different in a type of way bro it still look like tinkaichi so we still got that tinkaichi feelings we still see some of the tinkaichi mechanics and everything like that bro so i think we just gotta get our hands and play on it bro but we still haven't got a release date we still haven't got nothing like that bro so it's still sad and disappointing for that bro so well, hopefully we get something a couple of uh hopefully we get something in the next trailer bro we're gonna have to see it man but again um i was gonna go over the power for speed trailer bro but i'm gonna talk about that in the next video bro so i'm gonna keep y'all updated on that man but again i I love y'all. I appreciate y'all, man. I'm going to keep y'all updated on anything else that come out on the website or whatever, bro. But again, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much. And, um...